Hello everyone and welcome back. Oops. Wrong button. Today we finally find out who is behind that riddle that we got at the very beginning of Santa Monica. Hmm. But first we explore this place. Ooh. Oh. This book is potentially useful for a quest. Hello, we got teleported. I actually thought this was a bug the first time. And then I saw this uh, green sparkly effect around me. So, this... Oops. Well, great. Here... Is the entrance you can only go to that room with the book wait is there anything else in there I don't think so but just in case if you go anywhere you're not supposed to you get teleported here which is pretty much literally everywhere this is a Tremere Chantry and the Tremere are mages. And they hide their secrets here. That's why you're not allowed to go anywhere. Even as a Tremere. Greetings, Neonate. Might I assume you received my invitation? I have been looking forward to meeting you for quite some time. Blood magics and betrayal, and the true king upon the throne. Souls draped in rotten tatters, and, tatters and do dark visions draw your sight, young one? Shattered reflections of your clan father's mind. The glass is cracked, but strangely clear. There is truth in your world, Neonate, more than you yet realize. Your madness allows you to glimpse the truth of this existence, to see through the shadowy veil into the world beyond. On your head, an iron crown, and the jester dances before you. Hmm. Be cautious when speaking of these visions. Truth is rarely welcomed by those who cannot see it. There are many kindred who will be less, shall we say, accepting of it than I am. Tell me your name, Wizard King. Strauss. Maximilian Strauss. I am the regent of this Chantry. Welcome. Chantry holds mystery to me. A Chantry is a local gathering place for those of the Tremere clan. I live here as do apprentices from time to time. Regent is opaque and shadowy. The Regent is the leader of a chantry, as well as a teacher to young Tremere apprentices who are studying the mysteries of our clan. Reveal these mysteries, Wizard King. I'm sorry, Neonate. The secrets of the Tremere clan are hidden from all but those who share our blood. You would do best not to look into them any further. Tell me of this dark city of angels. Let me give you some advice, young one. Your survival in kindred society will often depend on your ability to find out yourself what is going on around you. Remember that well. Memory is rarely a gift of the schizophrenic. As for what is going on here in downtown, the word on everyone's lips, kindred or time, seems to be identical. Ah! A withered horse runs among us. It seems that disease has been spreading at an alarming rate throughout the downtown population. Considering our particular appetites, the local kindred are more than concerned about these developments. Dirty blood is our doom. Yes, indeed. My opinion is that the local anarchs are responsible for these outbreaks, their precipitous indulgence of certain 
passions often leads to such things. Ergo, their need for the watchful eye of the Camarilla. Perhaps I might probe the problem of this pestilence? Hmm. An interesting proposition. If you succeed in finding the cause of this epidemic and putting an end to it, I will compensate you appropriately for your efforts. And what of my reward, Wizard King? I will ponder the nature of your payment when you are gone. Believe me, I will treat you fairly, Neonate, and your service to the Camarilla won't be forgotten. I shall do this deed. Very well. Again, I recommend speaking with the Anarchs. You can find most of them at the local watering hole, reveling in the vices of their former lives. I believe the place is called the Last Round. Uncloud this Camarilla! The Camarilla? It is merely a kindred sect that exists to protect its members from the outside world. There are specific codes of behavior that we abide by in order to ensure the continuance of our species. It is nothing more and nothing less. Surely, what else would you like to know? Do all bloodsuckers belong to this brood? No. There are many independent clans who are not aligned with the Camarilla. And the Sabbat is another sect of various vampire clans whose beliefs are very different than our own. Unsavory sorts, to say the least. I understand you have already run afoul of them. Rodriguez, the Midnight Warrior, casts a long shadow. Ah, yes, the infamous Mr. Rodriguez. I understand you owe him your life twice now. Had he not intervened, the prince would have surely had that hound of his separate your head from your shoulders. His pale hand was well appreciated. Deep In any case, it's a shame that Rodriguez cannot see the wisdom of the Camarilla. Dreaming. He would make a powerful ally. As it is, he is a significant thorn in the Croix's side, which serves my purposes just the same. Do not the Wizard King and the Jester Prince share their purpose? The Croix is a prince, new mate, and eventually on top of that. Me. Even if he weren't as young and indiscriminate as he's already proven himself to be, I... But I say too much. Let us just say that he and I have differing ideas on the use of power. Put your trust in this shattered psyche, Wizard King. Deep of the well, Atlantic. without saying too much, Heart I think that Sebastian Lacroix lacks the usual discretion Sleeping. necessary to be the prince. I see in him a lust for power that overshadows his responsibility to the Camarilla. Ah, your iron crown begins to sparkle. Souls draped in rotten and tatters. I have fallen not to such lonely heights. My only interests are those of my clan and the Camarilla. An indicative order of your interests. <laughs> you will do well in this new life, young one. That I can see already. Surely. Why do the Anarchs shun this freaky family? The Anarchs feel that they don't need the structure and discipline of the Camarilla. I feel that they pose a threat, both to those loyal to the Camarilla and to themselves. Most are mere children and need our guidance. Maggots me. LaCroix is a prince, surely. One more thing. Of course. May I mine your grey matter? What is it you would like to know? No knowledge is necessary. Goodbye. Well, the Anarchs will have a lot to say for themselves and their cause, but I'm not going to give them the chance this episode. Because I'm discriminatory like that, and because we've already spent a bit of, quite a bit of time talking to Strauss. So, we need to get some action in this episode. If I exhaust all the conversations with everyone, I think that's going to be pretty much the whole episode. Just that, and I want to do some quests in this episode. So we're going to space them out a bit. The only one we're going to actually finish the entire conversation with is Smiling Jack, the one who was in the tutorial with us. The one who showed us the ropes because his conversations change depending on what missions you did. And I'm gonna do, or I plan to do, 
one main mission in this episode. However, before that, that sign looks like it's got something to say to me. No, you stop. No, you stop! Stop it! Ah, stop! Deep of the that was productive. I showed him, dreaming, her, it. I'll settle on it. I need to objectify the enemy. Uh, there's Jack. There's Skelter. Well, if it ain't the talk of the town, poster child for Camarilla Benevolence. What errand does the prince have you running today, boy? The jester plays his little games and sends his little pawns before him. Jester? What? What the hell did you say? Hold on. You're Malkavian, right? Oh, you doubly screwed. Crazy as hell and the prince's bitch. Little pawn, you said? Yeah, you got that right. Maybe you're not as crazy as you were. Greetings, Helter Skelter. Huh? How did... Damn. Malkavians and a goddamn insight. That shit is creepy. Anyway, yeah. My name is Skelter. I do my part to keep California a free state for the Anarchs. I seek he of the name of numbers. So then go on up and see him. You're free to do as you please, here. When I get to the bottom, I'll go back to the top of the slide. Farewell. They've got a few quests here. I'm gonna take those, but I'm not going to ask all the questions. You showed up. Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. More! You got a right to know the score. The Camarilla? This is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what plots in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans. And looking for a little power than those kindred sired for their own schemes and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. What it works out to is this. Only a few people at the top have any real power. The prince is not the head vampire? LaCroix? Shit. LaCroix is just the guy who backstabbed and wheeled and dealed his way into becoming king son of a bitch of all the local Camarilla. Him and any of the traitors that sided with the Cam want power here, they'll get what's due. Let me hear your truth. I learned the way of this world during the Depression. Bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what LA has been. An anarch free state. Free state? Well, I usually just walk off with stuff anyway. The Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. We, the Anarchs, didn't want to play their politics anymore. Now LaCroix and crew pop in like they never left? Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. Meet with them. Baloney all around. I got their meeting right here. Aggressive. You and the Prince don't golf on weekends? LaCroix represents everything I hate. The Camarilla, stuck-up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians. The only place LaCroix belongs is in an urn. Are you the Prince of Thieves and are these your merry men? Don't use me and Prince in the same sentence, Malk. I fought to keep L.A. free since I was embraced. Long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't bit it or switched sides. The most veteran soldier on the battlefield. My mind is still soft. Any shape I should set in it? Here's what I tell all the new blood. One, you get careless, that blood will make you into a monster. But you rampage around here, you get put down. Two... Don't kill when you feed. No reason to. In this city, there's lots of ways to slake the beast without leaving a trail of dead. Three, the Camarilla's full of shit. Four, watch your back, always. And lastly, learn how to fight. Because a speech ain't gonna save your ass when you're staring down the barrel of a shotgun. 
Teach me the razzmatazz. After picking your ass up off the pavement back there, yeah, I can tell you don't even know the basics. Hold your hands up like this, and keep your body at an angle. Makes you harder to hit. Keep your thumbs out of your fists and put your weight into your punches. Interesting words. I will savor them. You poor bastard. Listen, LA's the school of hard knocks, so keep your friends close and your enemies in a barbecue pit. Once you square things with LaCroix, don't give that son of a bitch the time of night. I got my eye on you, kid. Ick, squishy. Yeah, they're just as full of shit as LaCroix. He says some true things, but they want to do just the same as LaCroix. They just want to use us. Also, my brawl was at level 2, thank you very much, but I'll take the free brawl point anyway. Sabat chased you in here, Cammy. You are the damsel of distress, yes? I'm damsel. Someone talking shit about me over in that ivory tower? Who said it, huh? I'll kick their ass. The only words spoken were in my head. Lunatic. I'd give you a piece of my mind, seeing as how you're just another do boy for the Camarilla. Shit. No amount of good sense penetrates that white noise you Malks call a brain, does it? The Warlock Chief says you children spread disease. That goddamn Blood Witch told you what? He thinks we're responsible for that plague bearer? If I hadn't promised Nines I'd keep my nose clean, I'd go over right now and rip him a new wizard shoot. Magic missile casting motherfucker! Plague bearer. This word is unfamiliar to me. A plague bearer's a fool that doesn't care who they feed from. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We can't get sick, but the kind can. And kindred that feed on them start spreading disease. Enough get sick, it's an epidemic. CDC's in town as we speak. Can't you just shoo the dirty carrier pigeon away? Seen old yeller? May sound cruel, but it's necessary. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearer's gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. My neck owes a debt to the Anarchs. What shall I do? One of our boy's ghouls, name's Paul, lives nearby in the Skyline Apartments. Been a stranger lately. Looked like death last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. I will touch this ghoul in his mind's secret places. Wait, if Paul's not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pot. So many have been dying lately that it takes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. I will spread my mind around the city of angels. See you, damsel. What's up? Have you deeds that need be done? There's this girl who's been making a lot of noise lately. It's a real pain in the ass. She's a ghoul of this one Toreador creep who disappeared. What is the name of this ghoulish girl? Her name is Patty. She hangs out in the clubs downtown. She used to show up around here and act like she was everybody's best friend. It was all fun and games until her vampire sugar daddy stopped calling. Now she can't get her blood fixed and shit ain't so fun no more. Tell her that the sugar daddy has lost his sweetness. Man, she's been told he was dead. She don't listen. Just ask again louder. Damn junkie. She's gonna make a scene and get us all some real heat. What heat do you speak of? Vampire hunters, man. You start doing stupid shit and breaking the masquerade and you'll see what I'm talking about. Trust me, hunters are the kind of trouble you don't want. About the prickly problem with ghoulish Patty. She's crossed the line. Only time that mouth ain't blabbing is when it's sucking vampire blood. She's gotta disappear. Do this and we'll keep it our little secret, you hear? I will do this mission for the masquerade. Alright, have fun. I'd love to do this one myself, but I know a sire. Just let me know when it's done. I shall peruse the streets for this little patty. Farewell. I completely forgot to mention there should be music playing here. But it's one of those songs that I had to remove. Well, well. Look at who made it back in one piece. Out in Santa Monica, kiddo. The lady was sad and beautiful. Yeah, I'm sure it was a stroll on the beach. So did you score a lot of skee-ball tickets down on the pier there? I whipped around the wooden ball but procured the prize. <laughs> I can't imagine you did. 
Probably too busy getting pushed around by every vampire with a week of seniority over you, am I right? Right as a red rain. That's usually the way the story goes. Same old bullshit politics from when you were alive, huh? Don't it make you just want to rip somebody's spine out? What? You saying that's just me? <laughs> Nine swooped in like death on demon's wings. Yeah, not a moment too soon, huh? <laughs> he said you guys let those sabat go too. Nines must be getting soft. How can you pass up that kind of fun? Why does Nines keep saving this little fly? Well, well he was left sireless too. I don't know, maybe that's it. Well, he's got a thing for the little guy. How did the Sabbat find my shadow? Someone must have put a word out. Now, here's an interesting little scenario. I'm just gonna run this by you, see what you think. What if the prince got the word out to the Sabbat that you were the one to blow up their warehouse? Is that the terrible truth? Hey, it's just a theory, man, but who else is gonna be watching you so closely, knowing where you're going and all that? Would the Jester dance such a jig with the Sabbat? I'm not saying he's working with the Sabbat. I know he ain't. But he sure as hell could have put the word out there on the street where the Sabbat would pick up on it. Uh, just chew on that. Oppressive, this news, but probable. It's how the Camarilla works, kiddo, trust me. I've been dealing with these slimy shits for a few centuries now. Such politics are dread and dirty. Politics. The stuff that makes the rich get richer keeps the powerful in power. Look at why you're out in Santa Monica in the first place. Cause Prince LaCroix said so. Why was I chosen for this dark fate? Cause he never thought you'd make it back. If Nines didn't stand up for you in the courtroom, you would have been toast right there, man. Everybody knows that. Why would the Jester hate this little fly? It's bullshit, Camarilla Law. You gotta get it approved before you sire anyone. Vampire population control, fascist crap. LaCroix wanted to look like the strong leader upholding the law. So why has the spider not killed this little fly? Public relations, man. Calculated risk. Vents were born in a boardroom. When Nines called him out, LaCroix realized it was time to show a carefully measured dose of Camarilla compassion. Have you public relation propensities? Yeah, man, it's called kicking ass and crushing the skulls of any asshole who steps on my toes. That seems to work. People dig it. Why does the Jester fear the Shadow of Nines? Isn't he chief? LaCroix is the boss of the Camarilla in LA. That's it. <laughs> LaCroix is a boss. <laughs> That's rich. Even a Jester may parade in King's Cloth. The facts are like this. The Camarilla need us to buy into their bullshit for any of their laws to mean dick. Now, telling free-living vampires they need to be ruled is a hard sell. So, the Camarilla baked up a play nicey plan. Show everyone how great they are so we'll all just jump on board. Explain this everyone. The free-living dead, kiddo. A lot of people like to use the label Anarchs. Whatever the hell that means. Anarchs. That's got a nice kick to it, though, huh? <laughs> yeah. I seek knowledge of the Anarchs, children of entropy. That's us, so I'm told. What'd you want to know? How long have they raged against the machine? Yeah, I could tell you about the history of the movement about our struggle. <laughs> What's any of that shit mean, anyway? Do we want to sit through history class here? Power is in knowing the past. I'm no scholar, kid, but I've been around. Seen more and done more than most vampires ever will. I don't know that our situation's ever gonna be easy. But some things you gotta decide are worth fighting for. How to win such a Gordian game? Fight harder than the other son of a bitch. Every time I yank a jawbone from a skull and ram it in an eye socket, I know I'm building a better future. <laughs> Does Nines share your grisly vision? You bet, kid. Is Nines the chief of the Anarch tribe? As much as anyone is. Nines is a stand-up guy. Takes the politics a little too seriously, though. Came up during the Great Depression, so his brain's wired to that shit. And the rest of the wolves that run with Nines? 
Yeah, I'm not sure the story on most of them. Nine's crew. This blood thing asks about the clans and he answers the same line for both of them, so it literally doesn't matter which one I pick. What blood runs in your veins? Bruja. Most everyone here has Bruja blood. May I mine your gray matter? Moving right along. Share with me something else. What's on your mind? Tell me of the hapless humans. What about them? Do you concern yourself with kind? What do I think of humans? I don't, really. When you were alive, did you think about cows? <laughs> you know, if one got killed, I bet you didn't cry, but, you know, you're not out there slaughtering them for sport, either. They blow in the wind of kindred tempest. Ah, man, we got our own problems. Let the kin sink or swim. My shadow darkens other domains. Farewell. There's way too many questions, damn it. I'm hoping they'll be available later. It's pretty much the Camarilla, the Anarch. Well, I asked about the Anarchs and the Sabbat. Now, I am going to finish quests on that side of town, but first I need to go to. Oh yeah, I never, s I never told you that, did I? Here, Mud Hunt, I, the quest Mud Hunt is to follow up on Muddy, for who I told Arthur that he left for downtown. Actually, I don't think I said where he went with this guy, with the Malkavian. But I told him that he left Santa Monica, and then you get a quest to follow up on him. He says on the voicemail that he was going to be in the skyline apartments in the second on the second in the apartment on the second floor so that's where we're going right now because that quest continues on that side of town where the, the last round is get out of my way man shut up oh crap ah there's i need to buy new clothes because they give hey, me more hey, don't walk on by I look like yeah warwick Player, what's the score? How they hang? Good evening and all that commotion. Welcome to Fat Larry's Trucker Mac, the only store for all your needs after 10 o'clock. I am the proprietor and salesman of the month several years in a row. The ladies call me, oh God, but you can call me Fat Larry with a F-A-T, because I know I got a weight problem. I just don't give a fuck. Fat man, I am powerless from resisting your bazaar mobile. Delight me. Oh man, you been feeding on that rock, kid? Nah, 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 brother. I don't sell none of that no more. Mm, you got some crazy eyes on you. Believe me, I don't have to see the freeze-dried ice cream to know a space cadet when I see one. Fine. No feast of Ben Franklin's for the fat man tonight. Yo, now hold on a sec, brother. Chill for a sec, all right? Let me just tell you what I got. You need jewelry for your woman? I got that. You got a neighbor with a baby? I got loud ass stereos. You live downtown? I got firearms make the NRA nervous. You have guns for my cold, dead hands. Show me. David Duchovny sick. Signed, sealed, and certified. Don't care about the guns, though. Yo, yo, yo. Koala ears. Lazy eye hammocks and dwarf saddles right here. Only. In I just wanted this. The outfit. Hmm. You know what? I'll take the quest, but I won't finish it today because I'm gonna do the main quest. Say now, brother. Seeing the kind of commando gear you been stocking up on, you ain't just using that stuff for keeping the neighbors away from your shit, is you? I like to caress my weapons like a long-lost lover. Wow, wow, wow! Uh, that's your business, okay. I just figured somebody with a shopping list like yours might be up for a little actions all, all right? Yes, yes, yes! Yo, I need a hardcore, massively bionic, two-fisted yo Jimbo for a super-sized skull. Straight up, hundred million dollar movie gangster. You still with me? Do you hear the voices too? Did they describe me to you? Yeah, here's what's going down. I got a tip that the Chinatown Tong and some local boys are meet down at the nearby parking garage to carry out a business deal. Now. I can't tell you what they is exchanging, 
But let's just say a certain client of mine is ready to drop some Uncle Sam sized bucks to acquire what's in briefcase number one. You get it for me, I'ma not only give you a cut, but I roll out my special stock as well. Now how that sound? The fat man gets a whole cake. I want a piece of it. A big piece. Yo, man, why you gotta shake me down like that? If I hadn't just got my foot out of cast, I'd do it myself, but... Yeah, it's got to be that way. Fine. You got a discount. But only after I get the briefcase. I am your action figure. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Now, if you're the straight-out hard-boiled Terminator type, I'd suggest you buy some heavy firepower before you roll up to the parking garage. You need anything? My greatest weapon is knowledge. And laser beam eyes. Be back soon. Well, soon-ish. I'm going to take a few detours first. I forgot to go into the hospital here. And that's fairly important for how I want to do the patty quest. Hmm. It's an abandoned hospital. Interesting. Help me! Help me! It's got them! It's, it's coming for me now! It's, it's coming for me! You are tangled in fear, little fly! Did you see the Black Widow? Die! Spiders! Spiders! Spiders and flies! Spiders and flies! <laughs> not it. It was out of nowhere. The Black Widow waits for me! Do not flee, fly! I shall return! Spoiler alert, he's gonna flee. Hmm. This guy is a producer of a haunted of a haunting show My bad. and they were gonna film in this location turns out they found something real here didn't think they would but they did I need to stop doing that I keep pressing C when uh, the crouch is control. That's why I'm opening the character screen. Now here, I, I got stuck before. Well, that seems ominous. Drinking game! Every time I do this, take a shot. I need to move this out of the way because it can prevent doors from opening. And wait. If you move these cameras around, I think it the pictures and the screens actually move. Yeah, see? It was the hole before where she was dragged through. Now it's that wall. That's pretty cool. go before the door closes
Oh! I don't think it's ever landed that neatly out of my way. This way. Ah, oh, so sad. I wish I could have done more. I wish I had some popcorn. And by popcorn I mean blood. Sigh. There she is. The source of all this commotion. Real terror is not the sight of death. It is the fear of death. What is the fear of death? Terror of the unknown. Is it these eyes you peer into? No. I am not the unknown. You and I are closer kin than you and it were. Must the Black Widow devour the whole fly? Child of Malkov, you should understand better than any other the debilities of some of these bloodlines. A spider? No, they drink only blood. My own condition is more like the mantis. I must also eat the flesh of these kind to survive. Black Widows weave tangled webs in the dark. How do I address you, Widow? My birth name I tell no one. You may address me as Pisha. Pisha was the name of my companion and lover in a time before my death, 230 years ago. She has no need of it anymore. Why did you build your web here, Widow? My stay in the city is transitory. I seek relics of the occult traced here and would trade similar artifacts to acquire them. But if you wish to bargain with me, the kind upstairs must be sent down here. He has seen too much. Will the widow devour the fly? Eventually. The fly has seen the spider. It will not fly willingly into the web. Tell him this was all a ruse. His friends playing a joke. He will come. He must come down here. If he leaves, the frail disguise we wear for mortals will be seen through. The fly has spied too much with its beady eyes. I must swat it. Not this time. Your alcoholism shall remain unsated. And now I have a shortcut here. I actually didn't know about this shortcut the first time I played this game. At least not at the beginning. Now, he left this. And this business card tells you who he is. The episode is getting pretty long. So if I want to do the main mission, I might have to skip everything else now. Well, skip. Postpone. I was going to do more, but I forgot about how many conversations there are in the last round. Yeah, you go right on up and see Mr. LaCroix. Ah, let's see what we got on good old camera three. Oh, well, hello there. Give the Anarch community my regards. Done. I will read you back the minutes. Nothing they haven't crassly delivered untold times within Elysium. You have to understand, most of the Anarchs know no better option, or have been bullied into their cause by the Unrulia ones. You can't fault all for the boorishness of a few. Now that that's out of the way, I trust you're prepared to leave for the Dane. First I want something from your head. I suppose I can spare a few seconds. Questions of faces. Yes. Who are you? It's common knowledge. I was born in Calais, France, over 200 years ago. When I graduated from the Royal Military Academy, I joined Napoleon's army. It was shortly after Waterloo when I was embraced by a Belgian noble. From that time onward, I counted some of the greatest kindred in Europe as my mentors and worked towards establishing a Camarilla presence in new territories. In 1930, I came to the Americas and staked power in New York. Soon after, I headed west to claim domain. What is your blood made from? 
I'm Ventru. But I don't disparage any of the other clans. All are equally important in maintaining the foundations of the Camarilla, and the elders of each serve as my counsel. I wondered something about the face. Yes. The lone wolf. You've met Beckett? Yes. He did pay me the courtesy of announcing his presence in my city. He's lionized in kindred society, by most. Beckett's the definition of renowned scholar, but he's also a lone wolf, and owes allegiance only to his intellectual pursuits. Yes? Your murderous wall. Shh! His eyes are on us. He's my sheriff. When there is a problem that words are wasted on, I send him. The less one sees of him, the better. Yes? The one who is smiling. Jack. Hmm. The man is a scourge, the physical manifestation of chaos. Whenever he makes an appearance in one city, it is only a matter of time before a calamity is attributed to his latest lark. I wondered about something else. Which is? Tell me of the banner we fly over our blood. In this age of information, videotape, and weapons of mass destruction, the Camarilla is more necessary than it has ever been. The alternative to thorough secrecy these days is extinction. As long as we exist, so shall kindred society. Yes, which is... The blackest of hands, the Sabbat. Every night you wake up, be thankful you were not sired by one of their kind. Or you would have woken under the ground, forced to claw your way up from the dirt into a brief, bloody, violent existence. Savages. Bloodthirsty, irresponsible heathens. Which is... The box from the sands of time. All I know about the Ankaran sarcophagus is what I've heard on the news. It was found during an archaeological excavation in Turkey, and it appears ancient. There could be nothing but dust inside. However, that does not discount the possibility of it containing some kindred artifact. Or even a mummy. All of these evidence of the supernatural, and therefore potentially damaging to us. As for it containing an ancient kindred, the Camarilla does not put stock in the actuality of antediluvians. They're myths. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Which is... The Dane cannot wait while questions can. Good. I'm counting on an encore exposition of the talent you showed earlier. Go. And remember, under no circumstances are you to open the Ankaran sarcophagus. We'll talk later. Good. There's a boat waiting for you on the beach in Santa Monica. Yes. I just remembered... If you tell Jack about going to the Dane, he has some comments and he tells you a bit about the... or the rumors about the Ankaran sarcophagus. So I'll go see if I can prod that out of him, but I'm going to skip the walking and all the conversation up to that point, so... So this episode isn't too long and you don't have to see me walking around aimlessly. Hey, hey, what's the word on the streets? The Jester sends me to the Elizabeth Dane, the ship of Slaughter. Oh, really? That is my path. The sarcophagus. Did LaCroix tell you about the Ankaran sarcophagus? Only shadows and secrets. Yeah, well, maybe I should fill you in on the details. That sarcophagus is bad news. Kindred around the globe have been going batshit since it was discovered. Tell me more of this curious coffin. The word is, is there's an ancient stick in there. One of the fathers of the vampires that you can trace your living room way back. There's a chance it would end up with him at the root. And for centuries he has been sawing logs? Ancients don't just nap. They sleep whole ages away. And when they wake up, they're hungry. Ah, and such a horrendous hunger he will have. It's more than that, you know. Most kindred think it's one of the signs of the end, the apocalypse. Every religion has their own version of it. Kindred call it Gehenna, and the way they tell it, it starts when the ancients rise to devour their children. Is this real or a wives' tale? No one knows for sure, really. That's just a word that's been handed down through the ages. 
The Camarilla denies these ancients exist. I wonder if there is weight to these words. Well, kiddo, I guess you're gonna be the one to find out. <laughs> hey, good luck. Try not to wake Grandpa Munster and kill the world, huh? <laughs> I am no longer here. The Malkavian does make a lot of references to the ancients and such, so clearly there's truth to that. And also, I seem to remember hearing that the end of the world did actually come. Oh look, someone's fighting. As long as they, as long as I don't get involved, they will leave me alone. And if I do get involved, the police will come after me. So no thanks. Anyway. It's actually true, the world does end, and then they made a different vampire, not the Masquerade. But that's all I know. Need a ride? I ride the yellow horse towards my destiny. Lovely evening. Alright, now we go down to the beach, where we met the Thin Bloods, whenever that was, two episodes ago, I think. Well, we met them before, but we last interacted with them two episodes ago. But now there's gonna be a boat there. What can I say? You preserve my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. How fleet your feet, Mercury? I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. Help close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that, Petey. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. May the wings on your feet fly to lighter skies. Farewell. He has plenty more answers for me now than he did before. We need to be sneaky. Speaking of. Let's see what we shall do without points. There. Yo, Pally, over here. That's you, right? It's not for Christ's sakes. Tell Jacobson if he plans on making editor in chief, he's got to start working with me. I can't keep getting him these scoops if he's going to send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. See in me a vision of Jacobson's corrupt crony. Take it easy, Flash. This is still a badge you're talking to. Now that the formalities are out of the way, what do you got for us? Alright, look. I got you a copy of the initial report. And I can get you into the cabin. But you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn Flash photography, brainchild. Where does my path lead? Hold up a sec. Hines to Marsh. Hines to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. Clarity is not my goblet of Earl Grey. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly-dally. In and out, okay? Dilly and Dally are strange bedfellows. Don't forget to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse. All one word. You getting all this? I shall sail toward this beautiful beacon. Now get a move on. 
And don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my usual fee for this one. I think I remember. Heinz to Jacobson, uh, Anderson. Heinz to Anderson, come in, Anderson. Come check this out. I just saw a baleen whale. Yeah? I am standing in so much blood. I am overcome with hunger. Funny story, the first playthrough I did of this game was with an Osferatu, and he still calls you, this, the cop there, still calls you, but when you try talking to him, damn it door, he freaks out for because Nosferatu are ugly. More blood. But no bodies. Spooky. Anyway, the first cop he called away during the conversation cutscene was here in front of the computer. The guy he called to the bridge. This is how you can get a look at the sarcophagus, and there it is. You can also get there physically, of course, but to be honest, I don't really feel like going through the effort, and also, I don't know how to get back without being seen if I don't have obfuscate high enough level that I can move while being invisible, so... I did go there with an Osferatu, and you really can't do anything. You can't open it, you can't interact with it. Now, cover my tracks. No one will ever know I was here. We have one more objective, however. Are those clothes? Never noticed that before. Anyway, I unlocked the doors because this one was locked before. I probably could have picked it. But why would I when I'm given access to a computer that does it for me? Wait, shouldn't this be unlocked? Eh, it's not. I believe that was the last of my objectives. I'll check. Oh, that's a lot of updated quests. Yes, that was empty. We may now leave. Hmm, somebody was having a lot of fun here, and I missed the door. Here we are. This mission is really short if you can talk to the cop because he gives you the police report otherwise you have to get it on your own on the deck and you have to get the sarcophagus I killed the cop uh, by the computer that this guy calls away as an Osferatu and then oh great Ow. And then LaCroix gets all pissy, like, Oh, we're going to have to spread fake reports. Blah, blah, blah. I just broke his neck. He could literally have just tripped and fallen. It's not like I did anything masquerade breaky. It's not like I drank his blood. And there's actually a separate news report for if you do kill someone 
well, anyone really on the ship and in a later mission as well where you are told not to kill anyone but that's a bit spoilery anyone who knows this game will know which mission I'm talking about but you won't be seeing those news reports I don't think I'll be going for the news reports quite yet right now because we need to build up a few new ones there were only like two new ones last time i went and that it's really not worth the detour hop in okay wait where was i right here huh that was strange. I guess next time we'll be doing some side quests. I'll just be collecting the muddy thing. The next clue in the mud hunt side quest. And also, I'll be collecting the the reporter here. But I'll be doing that next episode. Now, these buttons are... Somewhat finicky. Locks are more of a suggestion, anyway. Mr. Milton, you know who this is, and I do hope you realize that we're still on for tonight. Meet me at the agreed-upon location across from the bar by the underpass. Bring your associate, Mr. Durbin, as it is a two-man job that I am proposing. With any luck, the two of you are already on your way, and I shall see you soon. Goodbye. That leads me back to the last round, or that side of town. Now this... This is how the Nosferatu gets around the place. Sewers and vents. longer than I would have liked. Usually I go differently. I, s I do like a sweep. I do the whole skyline apartments from bottom to top. But today or in these episodes I will do it a bit differently. And this is the reporter's apartment. No, I am actually going to finish it. He's hiding in there. Spoilers. That photo will come in handy for a later quest. And now, hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time.